Hello there, Facebook world. This is Kimberly Rose with my Wednesday girl talk. Let me see if I can get a little more light on the situation. So I hope your week has been really good. I hope you have had some big O's over the weekend or at least thought about it. I don't know. Um, thank you again for joining me and for joining me every single week. It's just been a real um, riot doing these talks. I have had so much communication from people in the last week with, or a couple weeks with the topics that I've been on. Thank you guys. Hi girls. Thank you for the hearts. I love the hearts. You know I love them. Thank you. Okay, so today's topic was, um, is, is based off of a, a really sincere email that I got from one of my customers. And so, of course, I'm not going to mention who sent me the email, but I have a really good feeling that she is not the only one that feels this way or is in this boat. So I'm going to share what she wrote to me. I'm just going to read it. I printed it off. I'm just going to read it. And, um, you know, feel free to comment below if you feel like you've ever been in that boat. Um, I think that as women... Um, you know, we should really rally with each other and support each other because I think a lot of us go through a lot of uh, similar situations in our marriage and our sex life, uh, intimacy. And I feel like it's just like social media where, you know, we're only seeing the top 5% of what happens in our life. I'm talking like the good 5%, right? That's all we want to share with people on social media. We're not sharing the shit show that happens in the background, which, which is good. We don't want to see everybody's shit show. But I really feel like even as women, when we get together, yes, we're real and we connect because we're just beings made that way, very emotional creatures. But I, you know, oops, somebody said it's frozen. Um, I hope it's not frozen. If so, I will start over again, but I'm going to keep talking just in case. Um, I feel like when we get together as women, we're really only sharing the top 5% of the positive things that happen in our sex life as well. And I think that's pretty sad because I think that we should really be around each other to, to rally and support each other and, um, you know, really let, e let each other know, like, you know, what's really going on because who knows, your friend might have some really good insight. Uh, I don't think that they're going to be judging you if they're your real friend, you know, they only want to help you. So I'm just going to, oh good. Somebody said it's not frozen. So I'm just going to read this. And if you guys can identify with this, can you at least comment if you feel comfortable enough? And I feel like you should feel comfortable because listen, there's a lot of women in this boat. Okay. I've been in this boat before not going to lie. So this is really, really good. Uh, a really great email. I want to read it to you. So, uh, she says, Kimberly, sometimes I feel guilty for not being in the mood with my husband. It's not that I don't absolutely love my husband or find him unattractive, um, because I do, I love him with all my heart and he's totally hot. I love that. She still thinks her husband is hot. That's a great right there. She says, I just seem to feel not in the mood. Now it froze. Okay, I'm going to back it up. I don't know how much of that cut off. I must be in a weird spot in my house. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so she says that she finds her husband hot. Like, she's definitely attracted to him. She totally loves him. Um, she says, I just seem to feel not in the mood these days. I'm not feeling sexy. It's been way too long without sex. And now I feel like it's been too long to initiate. And oh, and now I feel bad. So that sort of perpetuates that guilt cycle. I feel like I've been there before. I, I know that um, I'm just going to share something personal. I'm not feeling my sexiest when I'm not at a, a level of fitness that I'm comfortable with with my body. And I have really let myself go in the last couple of years. And I was actually just talking to a friend of mine and I was, and I even just posted on Facebook. I was like, okay, shit's really bad when you have a pizookie 
and a cocktail for lunch. Now the cocktail is fine. I could have a cocktail any time of day and I still think that's a-okay. But a pizookie and my friend is sitting there eating a salad. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was real good. She's the health one in our friendship, clearly. So I kind of just thought about it and I was like, you know, I really haven't been exercising. I feel like I don't need to exercise to make my body look better as much as I need to make me feel better in my mind and just with my health. And maybe that will get me in the mood more, right? In addition to all of my kick-ass products that I sell, because let me tell you, that helps a lot. But I think really what my friend here is talking about in her email is just that um, she has, is at a point where she has to um, have a conversation in her head and like give herself a pep talk to even initiate or be able to say yes to her husband's advances and she's just not feeling in the mood. So what do you do when you're not feeling in the mood? Does anybody have any suggestions? What do you do to get yourself in the mood when you're not in the mood? Is it like is it a mental thing? Is it a physical thing? Um, it's so funny. I love my husband. He's so cute. He totally supports my girl talks and he watches them and he loves them. But he said, you know, I need to have a guy talk because I feel like you need to reach the men in these women's lives and not as a woman reaching the men, but as a man reaching the men. And I was like, that's pretty insightful. I think that that's cool. So I was thinking on one of these Wednesdays when he's off, because he's always working on Wednesdays, maybe I would do like an early girl talk and have him be like my guest of honor. And he could do some guy talk to, uh, you know, maybe liven things up a little bit. But my husband was saying, oh God, this dog, he's got the worst timing ever. I tell you. So my husband was saying that he thinks that as long as women are feeling confident about themselves, whatever it is that they have to do to feel confident and to make themselves feel sexy, whether it's having a nice soak in the tub, um, putting on something that makes them feel good and look good, and it doesn't have to necessarily be lingerie. Did you hear that? A man just said that women don't have to wear lingerie. Um, my husband is the exception to the world, though, I do have to tell you. I'm not saying he doesn't like lingerie. I'm just saying that, you know, I think men don't realize that lingerie is mostly about what they like, not necessarily what we like as women. Because a lot of the lingerie out there, let's keep it real, ladies, isn't exactly flattering to our body types. Like the sexiest lingerie that you could see in the mall is maybe not what's going to look the sexiest or make you feel the sexiest, right? Um, that's why I also love some of the lingerie that we have in our line because it kind of hides those areas that we are self-conscious about. Our tummy mostly, right? It covers up our breasts or we have this really great piece of lingerie that I always tell people it's great for like no boobs, small boobs, big boobs, and saggy boobs. It's called the showstopper. It doesn't have any specific cups in it. It's a over the shoulder. It's kind of elastic. It's like a sexy, um, like lacy Spanx. That's how I describe it. It's super awesome. It makes any woman of any shape or size feel and look awesome. So anyway, so I just, I don't know. I just, um, when I got that email, I felt really compelled to talk about this on my girl talk today because I think a lot of us women just go through the same thing and we don't talk about it. And I think we should. I just think that it's important to support each other, of, you know, what we're going through, especially if you've been in a marriage for a while and you're feeling like my second, let's see, are we back? We're back. You know, if you're feeling like my friend, like she is in, in the email here, um, there's, there's hope. Like I wouldn't give up hope and I, I certainly would not feel guilty. I think at this point, if you're feeling guilty because you haven't been in the mood, don't you know, not talk about it. Like you can't just sweep it under the rug and think that it's going to go away because it's still going to just eat at you. So at this point, I feel like, and I've told her this, you know, you need to have a conversation with your husband and let him know how you're feeling because maybe there's something that he can do to help you feel more in the mood. Maybe there's something that he's not doing that you need him to do 
um, to make you feel a little bit more sexier. Maybe he's just thinking that, you know, you've got to be ready to jump in the sack and be it at his time frame and at his beck and call. And really, you, you need some extra loving or some extra attention in different areas. So I, I do want to reiterate, I know everything always comes back down to communication. And I just can't stress it enough, you guys. We have to communicate with our partners because they can't read our minds. And I'm telling that to my husband all the time because I think he thinks because I'm so freaking awesome that I can read his mind, but I can't. I wish I could sometimes, but I really wish I could because sometimes I feel like he wants me to read his mind and I can't. And so I'm like, what do you want from me? And I think we've all been there. Women, men, whatever. We've, we've, I don't, there's just nothing can replace communication. I, I know I'm just kind of uh, re reiterating that over and over and over, but it's just so true, you know, like just get together and have a conversation. And by golly, don't let too much time go by before you get together with your partner and have some sex because I'll tell you what, what'll happen is you're going to get together with your partner. You're going to have like great sex, mediocre sex. I don't know. Mind blowing sex. It could be, you don't know until you get there and do it, but you know, you have that sex and it totally changes your frame of mind and frame of thinking. And I know for men it does like at that point, they're like ready to give you anything because they just had what they wanted and it puts them in a great mood, but we've got all of the oxytocin going through our body and it's like cuddle time and I love you and we're in this great euphoric state and it just really helps to bond us and build our relationship even better. So anyways, I, we are at 12 minutes after I, I talked a little bit too much today, but, um, I just really, like I said, um, Glad to share that email with you guys because it really hit home with me and I thought that I should share it because I feel like there's a lot of other women in the same boat. So I appreciate everybody who joined me live today. You do not know how much it means to me. I mean, I can tell you it means the world to me and it's so special and you might not really believe me, but I mean it and sorry about my darn dog. He just has to be in my girl talk too. He's uh, really needy just like other people I know. <laughs> Anyways, kidding. Sorry. I'm just being goofy now. So uh, please continue to catch me every Wednesday at five o'clock Arizona time, Pacific Standard Time, and uh, share me with your friends. I would love it if you shared my post so that other women know that they're also, um, if they're in the same boat, they're normal and they're not freaks and um, they're, you know, not wasting away. Okay. So uh, you guys have a wonderful week. If any of you ever uh, want a special topic for me to discuss, um, please email me. I love getting emails. I get messages from people all the time, and uh, there isn't anything that I won't discuss on Girl Talk. I mean, unless it's like NC-17, I'm discussing it. I'm not, I won't go overboard with NC-17. But, you know, please text me, PM me, email me, whatever you guys want to do. Would love to talk about your subject, okay? All right, well, you guys have a fantastic week. Communicate with your partner and get out of your rut. All right, talk to you later.